Okay, I'm going through um, a call for testing. And this is then uh, called a site editor sneak peek. So uh, this is basically, I'm going to go through a few different things and I will let you know how I feel about it. So right now I'm going to edit and save a template. So I'll go to template, right? So I've selected the page here. So I opened up this and I just kind of centered the, the post title and I also widened the area. I'll do a full width here. I'll click save. Uh, for me, I, it feels like this text has changed. I'm, I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but it just seems uh, easier. I might just be remembering wrong, that's okay. So I'll add a few patterns. I'll click here. And this looks really nice having it like this. Uh, I expect it to be able to hover over. It looks like I have to click. So here, uh, let's see if I want to add an if I want to add this header. So here, I expect to click it. This area will close, and I will see the new header replace the existing header. So let's see what happens. I see I can also drag it in. Can I just click it? The double click or click once. Oh, I double click it. So it inserted a bunch of times. So I see it inserted here three times. Um, let's see if I can uh, correctly. Uh, I need to just remove it, remove cover, and let's see, remove this as well. And we have then the one right here. So um, it looks like they kind of merged together here uh, as one header. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is actually the old header I had. And then it's then a new header. It did not replace the existing header. So this kind of was kind of quirky. Um, how uh, about I just do uh, an undo uh, like so a few times and I will try adding a new header again. So let's go to headers. I will then add this again. Can I just, I'll click it once. And I'm guessing it's inserted, but this whole section does not close. When I add a header, I expect it to just close. So I'll see the header replace the existing header. That did not happen. So what if I just kind of add um, a column then? How about just adding like this? Again, I, it's just kind of probably on further down on the page here somewhere. Also here is the header that I added. It will just be added as a cover. And let's see, here is then the columns um, group. No, columns. Okay, so isn't this a group, this whole columns thing? Yeah, and here is the group. So it's kind of weird how inserting patterns kind of work right now because I'll click here and let's see, okay, hide this over here. And let's see here, then it's uh, better to hide it. I'll do a post. How about, um, okay, so this is something I added earlier, looks like. I'll click like this, but it's not jumping to where I inserted the pattern. So that's kind of weird. And so replacing the header and footer, I, I don't really like how it works right now. So I'll, how about I just kind of uh, drag this? Uh, can I just replace this here then? Uh, so this is then uh, the new footer. It should replace the existing footer. There's no option to do that. I have to drag it in like anything else here. How about explore patterns? So here it does not start with any default view. It just shows no search results. No results found so I have to click featured and buttons that kind of go through and here I can miss having a thin outline around this kind of limiting what it looks like 
because I have to hover over, over it like so. Um, and I guess that works. Um, so uh, there's still quite a work to do with the patterns. How about, let's see, replace header or footer with different pattern. That's what I did here. And next up is then changing style variation. And that will be over here. I'll just remove that. Uh, we're in the page area here and uh, browse styles. So this is then a style variation. So this is fairly neat. It seems very clean in place. And this is really tiny, way too much space around here. Uh, I, I want it bigger. How can I get it bigger here? Can I easily scroll in a little bit? And no, it doesn't look like it. I see there's, I can add, it says add pattern. I cannot add blocks, it looks like this way. Can I add paragraph block? block? Uh, yes, I can add it here. So this is way, too tiny for me. Um, how about I will go like this? I really like the different kind of patterns. Um, here, I would actually like a way to actually uh, change the existing patterns somewhere around here. Adding a pattern here would that kind of open up some kind of dialog box where I can nudge it in, in place. And the, the colors. Um, how about if it opens like that, can I somewhere um, modify it? If I'm clicking this, would this open some kind of modification panel? Uh, here it just kind of clicks you. I cannot modify the patterns on the spot. So, okay, next is navigating between templates and template parts a few times. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, let's see, I want to go out of the styles. Oh, so they done it like that, okay. Close global style sidebar. So uh, browse and then click to remove. How about if I just kind of click like this? Uh, okay, so we're gonna have it between templates and template parts a few times. So we have this here. Um, can I reorder and things like that? Not yet. Um, here I would have the most used in the, in the top, for instance, less used in the bottom, or have some kind of overview of kind of somehow in here and additional things I can do with it, duplicate or something like that, delete. Okay, so we have template parts. Wow, this is really tiny. Um, this is the newest Gutenberg plug I'm using, 14.6, and this is just a really tiny area. So, okay, and now we can template and template parts a few times. We have comments, and this is then the template part. Uh, it says comments here. Uh, it would be nice if we had some kind of template part. I'm not, I don't, for me, I'm not clear if I'm in a template part or where I am, because there's no really heading here saying template part and, and, the, and the name of it, comments. It says browse all template parts. How about template parts and colon comments or something like that? General area. Okay, I'm gonna go back into here and uh, templates. How about looking at the footer? So for me, this is kind of weird how it is, uh, like like this thing right here. Um, uh, again, should I missing having a template part more obvious and uh, the title for it. So this is then um, um, I am in task one. So I will take uh, uh, pause that and go to task two. Okay, task two. Uh, this is becoming a little bit longer tutorial or um, I would a test, a video test than I hoped, but okay, it will do. So task two is about uh, imagining a new navigation management experience. So I will then just kind of go into my uh, navigation here. So this is really blocking the whole thing. Um, how about, uh, let's see here, uh, navigation, I think here, uh, no, I think the 
there. I'm in navigation right now. So here I can choose from another navigation. So these are then pre-existing navigation. How about clicking manage net menus? It will just leave, leave it, the screen. Okay, so I see navigation menus here. So what can I do? Can I edit navigation? And I can't really do anything here. So this is just uh, uh, window shopping something. Can't do really anything here yet. Uh, okay, so what do I want to do here? I would like to edit the menu. Um, maybe having an overview of the menu here so I can easily edit it. Almost like the old uh, way of uh, editing the menu or something like that. So I'll go back in here. I will have them selected. Um, let's see here. Let's go back. Okay, so I am in navigation. So I'll go to one of the others here. Uh, header navigation. We have that in place. And uh, this kind of blocks the whole thing. I have a hard time adding something. Uh, let's see, can I search for page in here? Let's say I want the about page. So we have the about page there. How about if I want to post? Post. Um, oh, here's a post. Um, what I'm missing here is some kind of, I don't know, click uh, option or, you know, uh, clicking below here to uh, kind of like a toggle. A button for a page or in a post or maybe category or something like that so you can click a button for post a button for category or it's a tag for instance kind of like different toggle buttons for types that i want to see so i'll maybe toggle on uh, categories i might also toggle on, on a post so buttons here and uh, toggle buttons for different types of contacts maybe so here I have contact us. Um, so um, so okay. So actually, I should probably make this into another tutorial because it is coming along. So what else do I want to see right now? I'm kind of blank at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna have to make like another tutorial just for navigation. So I will then go to task three in just a moment. Okay, so task three is about exploring the new color randomiz randomizer. So I, oops, I need to go back into editor, I believe, open the style settings. Uh, we have styles here and colors. And let's see here, um, we're, okay, I'll go into palette. And here is the custom palette. Add some colors to create your own color. Oh, this is nice. Oh, thank you. So um, I don't see the randomizer. Uh, I thought, so I'll go out of uh, there. I'm in colors and where's the random pause again? Okay, I'm using Gutenberg 14.6 and I am not seeing the colors. I'm in the style. Okay, style settings and then colors. Uh, I don't see a randomize in here. So I'll go to palette. I will add custom palette here. And that's color one and color two. And I'll put that as green. Oh, I like this. I like being able to do something, create my own something. How about I do uh, kind of like a, a violet? So I had these uh, as custom palette. Can I save this uh, somehow? Clicking done. Oh, we got this. Can I create a custom two of them? Edit colors, remove colors. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. So as I'm not able to explore the randomizer here, um, so I believe that's it for this test. Um, okay, so this should be long enough now. It's 14 minutes. Thank you.